Hi everyone, welcome back to Novel Nomad and welcome to another Top 5 Wednesday. Now it's really great because Sam the moderator, I'll link her down below, she's awesome, please check her out. But um, she actually let us have a bit of free reign this month with Top 5 Wednesday so we get to revisit any topics that we wanted to do from past Top 5 Wednesdays. So I am rolling back the clock all the way to August 2016 with the topic today of authors that I am waiting for their next book. So these are five authors that I have read their books and I have absolutely loved and I'm currently desperately waiting for the next one to continue the awesome adventure. So let's get straight into it. So it's going to be absolutely no surprise, number one is Erin Morgenstern's The Night Circus, which I adored, but I am waiting, if possible, for another book from Erin Morgenstern. I'm not going to be disappointed if she never releases another book, and this is basically the only one she brings out, but her writing was so magical and just took me away to this amazing world that I would love to see what other worlds she has in store. Um, there has been no news, gossip, tweets, anything about another book, so I'm not holding out big hopes for this one, but if she does, I will be set. <laughs> I would absolutely love to read anything else Erin Morgenstern would like to write about. Secondly, as I know there is a book coming out, but I desperately, desperately want to read it, and that is Mackenzie Lee. Now, she wrote The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which I thought was an absolutely amazingly fun romp, and I cannot wait to get back into this world. It follows Monty's younger sister, Felicity, in A Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy, and that's going to be so much fun, but... Mackenzie Lee had such a vivid, animated way of writing. Her humour was whip sharp, and I just can't wait to read anything else she brings out after the second book. Thirdly is going to be Wild Air, or Rebecca Musco. She wrote The Wild Air, which I absolutely adored. Now, I do have to read some of her backlisting, which I do have, which is Song of the Sea Maid, which is about mermaids, which is a very popular topic for May, of course, and also The Visitor, which I haven't yet to read, but anything else that Rebecca Musco will be publishing in the future, I will be reading. So we have been teased, we have been taunted, but I want the next book, please, Robert Galbraith, um, or otherwise known as J.K. Rowling. Now, J.K. Rowling has uh, teased us about the title of the next book called Lethal White. It is a book four in the Cormoran Strike series, and this series is utterly amazing. You can also watch the TV drama, but I highly, highly recommend the books. The first one's a really great introduction, the second one's a really creepy crime, and this one's a great thriller. So, if you love characters and how J.K. Rowling treats and respects and builds her characters throughout her series, you'd love Robert Galbraith, and it is a great way to get into some crime reading. Next, and utterly and absolutely not least, is Camilla Shamsi. Now, I saw Camilla Shamsi this year as part of Adelaide Writers Week, and I read Home Fires for that. This is a modern retelling of Antigone, set in a very modern-day England to do with more terrorism and, and the racial stereotyping of Muslim British citizens. But this is... This was amazing and now I do have some books from her backlist that I do need to read but like I said with all of these books anything else that Camilla Shamsi is going to write about I will be reading because her writing was so sharp and so to the point and so poignant. She was able to bring out so much emotion within such a short book. It was absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to read more and especially diverse voices is really, really important. So definitely recommend for anyone who wants to read a really interesting take on modern Britain, a really interesting way to adapt a Greek tragedy for modern times. All right, so those are the five authors. I am absolutely on at the edge of my seat waiting for another book. 
but if you have any favorite authors that you can recommend me that I should get on to, please tell me down below or what are your favorite authors that release regular books every year or every few years that you just love to read, even if they're not written very well, even if other people might judge you for it. I will not because I completely understand when you find comfort in someone's writing because it just feels like home because you've had so much enjoyment from their writing in the past. So thank you all for joining me. I'll see you all next time. Bye.